main special. There's nothing like it. I've gone to every program in the hockey, some in different conferences, and there's nothing like the Al Fond on a Friday and Saturday night. It's really special to be here. I'm really grateful to be here, and I'm really excited to see what this group can do in the future and this season. There's a lot of things. I uh, am also the video coordinator, so I'll break down uh, film, pre-scout film, in-game tagging systems, uh, as well as coaching challenges. Uh, I manage the student managers of the program, so I have four great students right now, Victor Costilla, Will Lacey, Russell McGrath, and Riley Hewson. And I also uh, handle all the logistics within the main men's and women's ice hockey programs, booking travel, uh, hotels, meals on the road, uh, as well as any team activities that we may need to do, essentially anything logistically for either team, uh, I'll help set up within each program. Definitely becomes some of the more stressful parts of the road trips especially. Uh, you need everything to be smooth for the guys, that way you don't interrupt their in-game routines, day of the game routines. Uh, you need everything there for them and prepared and it's a lot of communication. So I initially started with Coach Gendred's staff my sophomore year here at uh, UMaine. So this was probably peak COVID, everyone was back on campus. There wasn't a ton to do and I saw an Instagram ad actually saying student help wanted and my dad was always a coach and I, was, I didn't really know what it entailed but being involved in the program I thought would be great. So I, I threw my name out there, sent an email over to actually uh, Sean Walsh, the late Sean Walsh's son and he got back to me after a couple of interviews and trial runs. He ended up keeping me around. And, and then after Coach Gender had passed, Coach Barr ended up keeping me around as well. And at that point, I'd earned my way to be the video coordinator my uh, third year with the program and senior year with the program. And Coach had mentioned uh, potentially coming back and being the director of hockey ops down the road. And it was something that I really wanted to do. I didn't really want to go anywhere. When a play happens that we have to challenge it, um, you know, I'll obviously be looking off the bat and me, Coach Soltis and Coach Michaud will also be in uh, contact with each other live during the game. So if you see Alfie, he'll have a walkie-talkie and you'll see Soltz walking around with a walkie and either I'll have one or I'll have headset or earbuds in and I'll be back in the coach's office looking at the video and you'll hear Alfie come through saying check that or I'll, I'll be looking, we'll find something to tell them about. And it's a tough process because timeouts can really mean a lot, but also you've got to pick and choose your spot strategically. So we're looking, we're going back and forth with each other. And, you know, sometimes it's like, hey, I 100% know, challenge this. You know, you go for it and you, you win or lose, you could be down a timeout. There's a, there's a lot that goes into it. It's definitely a pressure-filled moment because you probably have about 15 to 30 seconds to make a decision.
you know, I just, just talked to the boys and, you know, it was a weird thing coming out here yesterday and, you know, we left in the morning and, you know, all that stuff was kind of developing. So, you know, we talked about it and we're always playing for the name on the front of our, our jersey and, uh, you know, with the support that we get with, you know, the school, the community and the entire state of Maine. You know, obviously it just, it's going to, it always means a lot and it's going to mean a little bit more uh, tonight, I believe. Our thoughts are with, with everyone back home and we look forward to representing them on the ice tonight. time we go so we'll skate three on three and some breaking news here folks for you according to Maine Senator Angus King he has confirmed to CBS 13 that the body of murder suspect Robert Card has been found the murder suspect from Wednesday night's shooting in Lewiston Chabrier, minute 10 to go. Brandon Chabrier, his shot! Brandon Chabrier wins it in overtime! The Black Bears are 3-0 on the season as they defeat the defending national champions on their home ice in overtime. impressive what you guys can do when you turn it up. Right, for two and a half periods, we were average, very <coughs> average. And, and then you guys found it, right, you found it. And when you found it, you hemmed them in, and you could have won that game four or five times, right, even before the, even before the three on three. Um, what you guys did for, you do this for us every day, you inspire us, and I, and I think you inspired the whole state of Maine today, right? Um, with your work ethic. It wasn't pretty. We can play way better than that. We know that. But the work, and that's what the state of Maine is known for, and that's what you guys are bringing, and you get rewarded for it. Okay, so credit to you guys. Game puck, 1-5. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're playing with me, so I had to set them straight. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, good effort tonight. Definitely not our best, so uh, let's bring it tomorrow and end this thing.
As hockey players, we show a lot of emotions on the ice. It's time for us to start showing emotions off the ice too. Lift the mask.